Hi, my name is Phil, and I'm building a Chesapeake Lightcraft teardrop camper. Come join me on this odyssey through the magic of digital cameras and online high-resolution videos. I thought I would cover both the bulkhead and the hatch stiffener in this video. The bulkhead is a partition that separates the galley from the main cabin in the camper. The galley is built like a hatch on a hatchback car. The hatch stiffener helps the galley hatch hold its shape and adds strength to the hatch. But the bulkhead does much more. The bulkhead supports the galley flat, which is the shelf that forms the bottom of the galley. It adds significant lateral strength and stiffness to the camper. The bulkhead is also the place where optional accessories including the electrical components, lights, stereo, speakers, and interior fans are mounted. Later in the build, we will install the shelf on the bulkhead that will be a convenient place to stash pocket items and flashlights at night. The bulkhead has two horns, uh, pointy bits, that, uh, well, it's hard to explain, but you'll get it when you see it. The bulkhead has two parts that need to be attached using puzzle joints like the other parts of the camper. I prepared the wood as I did with other parts. I removed stickers, sanded and trimmed, removed the tabs left by the CNC machine, and epoxied the puzzle joints together. And then I went ahead and sanded the joints after the epoxy hardened, since it's much more convenient to sand before you install than afterwards. The hatch stiffener comes in three pieces and is assembled by chamfering the short edges and stitching it together at the corners. It doesn't get glued together until after being stitched into the cabin. The bulkhead gets stitched into the camper shell. The hardest part of all of this is threading the copper wire through the holes since some of the holes are quite a reach. The hardest part is also moving and tipping the camper and propping it up on your own. Yes, there are two hardest parts at this point. Anyway, I got the hardest part and then did the epoxy fillets, which was not the hardest part. Here's another tip based on my experience. If you bang your head against something once, tape something soft like a sponge in that spot so the next time you do it, neither you nor the camper will get further damage. Thank you. 
For the galley hatch stiffener, the stitches that hold the stiffener against the galley hatch get left in and buried inside the fillet. CLC instructs you to push the copper wire inward using a screwdriver. I found that my fillet didn't quite cover the stitch, and I don't really mind. But if you are OCD about it, you should probably do a pretty large radius fillet to make sure the stitches are covered. From a practical approach, you cannot do the fillets in between the bulkhead and the hatch stiffener at the moment. There isn't room, so you end up doing those when you cut out the hatch. By the way, cutting out the hatches and doors is pretty daunting. I did a poor job cutting out the hatches for my kayak. Amy helped me cut out the hatches for her kayak, and I did a better job, and I think I did a pretty good job on the camper, but that's another video. With the hatch stiffener, I experimented with applying the thickened epoxy using a syringe and leaving the stitches in place that were holding the pieces. These wouldn't be left buried, so I thought it would be worth gluing them together and then pulling the stitches. This worked well in our kayak build, so it should here. If you're in a rush, this might not be the best choice since it means you have little gaps to fill in later. The syringe can help you push thickened epoxy into small crevices and may be better when used to fill in small seams on the outside rather than where you are applying broad fillets. If you enjoyed this video, or even if you just put it on to keep the toddler quiet for a few minutes, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I upload another video. Thanks for watching.